Hey guys, what's going on? Um, just gonna make a quick video here. It's currently 4.15 in the morning and I foolishly bought the Master Collection day one and come to find out it is not at the advertised 1080p. It is at 720p. Um, you know, I was willing to handle 1080p. That's at least full HD, but 720p is a bit ridiculous. That's what these ran on in... 2011 on the PS3 and Xbox 360. So I did some digging. I uh, figured a port or uh, sorry, a, a mod or a fix would come out either from the modders or probably not Konami. Um, within an hour, some guys on 4chan on V found out a fix. I don't know if it's completely foolproof. I played through the entire Virtuous mission. Noticed no issues. I'm assuming this could be done with Sons of Liberty as well, but. Um, I, I did see there were some issues with the, the cutscene borders and dialogue uh, um, subtitles and whatnot. But this is for Snake Eater. It, it mile my very miles your mileage might vary with Sons of Liberty. So what you're gonna need is um, you're gonna want uh, Steamless. It basically. Um, is going to allow you to edit the, the exe file of the application so you're going to get that you're going to go into steamless it'll open up and you're going to select file you're going to go to where you have snake heater installed and select the exe for me it would just be called this here this is my backup of the original um, you select that it'll make a new file and then, let's see here, Steam Apps common. Uh, Alright, so you're going to have your EXE here. You're also going to need a hex editor. I've tried both uh, hex XD and uh, 010. Um, I had better luck with this one. It was a little bit uh, easier to find what I was looking for. So, you're going to open up your hex editor. and then you're going to open file go to wherever the hell you have fucking Metal Gear installed, it's probably your Steam folder select the EXE, I'll do the original and you're gonna have this here you're gonna hit control F, this little window down here is gonna open up you're gonna select signed short and then type in should be 720 there's going to be a whole bunch. Um, I kind of, at this point, I didn't know exactly which one. We're kind of going to be looking at the right side here on the ins the inspector. Um, and so he said it was kind of in a block cluster. So I kind of just looked around for a bunch of blocks here. Where is it? I don't think that was it. No. That might have been it, maybe. Nope. Nope. I don't think I changed this EXE yet. Whatever, the tutorial still stands. Um, it's going to be highlighted as D002 in your hex area. And you're looking for kind of this right here. Sign short. You're going to change that to whatever you want your resolution to be. In my case, it was 1440. So if you change this one, it'll change these down here. You're kind of... I'm no hex expert. I kind of just open this up, praying, hoping it would work. And it would change these four here. And there was usually about five or six of these all right here. Um, so you want to change all those. I don't think you have to change every single one. I don't know which ones. You'll see them in a block. I can't find it right now, but there's a, a block and you're going to change all five or six of them. And you're going to do the same thing for your your uh, horizontal resolution. So for me, 2560. Um, so we do 1280 since that's the horizontal resolution of 720p. And same thing, it'd be 005 or 0005. It'll be on this right side here. Change that to 2560 or uh, whatever your resolution you're using, 4K or whatever. You're going to save the file. Make sure you have it named to... Um, make sure you have it named Middle Year Solid 3.exe. 
Um, and then you're going to start the game. Another thing I want to look at and show you here, uh, the screenshots. That's not how you open screenshots. That is also not how you open screenshots. Here we go. Here we go. Um, so this is the first screenshot I took when I bought the game. Uh, very small. Zooming in. It's very crunched. Going to properties on it. Details. 1280 by 720. So I'm like, wow, the window was 720p. Um, and then when I changed it, 2560, 1440. And it's full screen. It's a little bit crisper. Obviously, the textures and everything aren't going to be changed, and the HUD is still going to be a little bit lower res, but it's passable. It looks good. It looks all right. This is the bare minimum of what I would at least expect from even fucking Konami is uh, resolution options, even even 1080p. I bumped it up to 1440. Uh, they bumped it up to 4K, so... I'm sure whatever your native resolution is along 16 by 9 it would work. In fact, I even changed just the the horror, or the vertical resolution and it still worked. My resolution was just stretched. So, uh, you might have to kind of fiddle around in the hex editor if you don't know what you're looking for like me. I, I didn't really know. I just saw a block. That's what he said. He, he kind of uh, described it as four or five different uh, areas to edit right next to each other. So, you know, they'll all be right next to each other. You don't have to edit every one. I would... Just do it just to be safe. Make sure you're looking for the four. There should be signed, unsigned, signed, unsigned. Edit those four. Um, even start the game here. It'll boot up the launcher. And the launcher boots up in whatever your native resolution is. I'm pretty sure this is 1440. Uh, Steam's HUD looks like it at least. Game selection, North American English. All All right, and it, the first thing you'll notice is that the, the logo is like the Konami logo. It'll look a little cr crushed. Uh, the resolution isn't uh, scaled because it's obviously just a, a PNG. So, um, yeah. And so I have all the way up to the beginning of Operation Snake Eater here. Playing in 1440p. And it actually, yeah, it looks good on my monitor. I don't know what the fuck the problem was. I haven't encountered any issues yet, so we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see. This is a good uh, indicator here. Snake's model here looks really crisp. Um, doesn't look blurry or or low resolution, so uh, hopefully this helps. I know this is a quick, kind of a unscripted tutorial, um, and it wasn't explained the best because obviously I don't really know what I was editing in there. I'm just looking for the the resolution uh, identifiers in there. So yeah, hopefully this helps. Um, I'm sure someone will come out with a mod here in a couple of days to actually just do it for you. So this is if you're desperate to play day one, night one, whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.